Hi, I'm Chris from Editors, and you're watching Portal Lisboa Javi. What's it like being in Lisbon uh, for the editors? It's for editors, it's, yeah, it's all right. It's hard. It's our first time here, so um, we went out last night and uh, had a big meal and kind of got fattened up, ready for a. Uh, Ready for the show today, so um, it's cool. It's sunny, man. It's good. It's you know we've just uh, we just come off a few t uh, few uh, European festivals, so, which were cold and rainy. So it's nice to get here, you know. Uh, what what did you eat, by the way? What did I eat? I had um, I had like a big three course meal. I had Eusebio ice cream as well, oh, really? which is a specialty. <laughs> and I had a big steak and some like some cod stuff for starters. It was nice. Typical cod. You know. Yeah, exactly. The, the quintessential, let's yeah. uh, so to speak. You've got it, yeah. You've got it. You've got to do it. You know. You got to do the card. <laughs> when, when in Rome. You've had a tr tremendous, tremendous success for uh, for an alternative band, especially, and um, your album went platinum already, I think. Um, and um, your first album on your on your debut. And how do you handle the, su the success, uh, critical acclaim, and the, the public's uh, uh, acceptance? I don't know. I mean, as far as the public goes, uh, we're never really at home that much to really um, kind of let it sink in. We're always on tour, so uh, uh, I guess so. Critical acclaim. We don't really read papers or newspapers or anything and read about our own reviews. But uh, me neither. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why should you? You know, it's like it's uh, you know, you're, you're yourself is your hardest critic. So uh, you know, it's gone very well. It better than we expected. You know, we we're expecting the album campaign to end about three or four months ago, but because it's gone so well in the UK, then we're just continuing it on right throughout the festival. The uh, ongoing tour is more like a compliment than anything else. Exactly, yeah. I mean, we, we were planning on 12 months, but it's turning into about 20 now. So. <laughs> Non-stop? Non-stop. Wow. Since last January, yeah, it's going to go straight through until about September time. When you write your music, when you write your songs, do you edit them a lot? Pardon the pun. What's that, sorry? If, if do, you, do you edit them a lot? Oh, edit them a lot. Yeah. Um, I, it, it depends, really. I mean, so like some of the best songs we've done have just happened in a rehearsal room in 10 minutes. Uh -huh. uh, other songs, we've, um, kind of we'd, we've had four goes at them sometimes to make them, make them right, you know. If they're, if they're an older song, we don't mind editing them, as you say, just kind of like taking them down and starting again, you know. You've got to be critical of your music. And but, um, I mean, like structurally, um, yeah, yeah, four times isn't that much, uh, no, even then. No. Yeah, but it's it's four times over a long period. You know, we'll live with it, and then so I like, say, no, actually, let's kind of break it down, and start again. Thank you. Your singles have been um, re-released lately, um, over a year. Uh, uh, over, over a year's period. Uh, why is this? Um, I guess it's probably because we're not a singles band. You know, we've uh, basically got like three or four singles. We never really yeah. thought we'd uh, get such kind of popular acclaim anyway with the uh, kind of um, your everyday man. So, um, you know, we, we the fact is that we can't put a five minute song on the radio. You know, we have to put our pop songs on. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things, you know, you need to get your songs on radio and that's it. Feel any constraints uh, with uh, with editing <laughs> again uh, the songs uh, into uh, three and a half uh, uh, four minutes format? Not really. I mean, we've never really um, kind of cut any of them down. Not not any of the really long ones anyway. I mean, we've had a go. We've had a go on on a couple of the tracks, but uh, hasn't really worked for us. I mean, mm. just sometimes, like as I said, we've only got like three or four pop songs, and they are you know structurally yeah. pop records. You know, whether people like them or not. It's kind of irrelevant, but you know, those are the ones that we're forced to put out. You just still go a bit shocked when you see you know, your music and yourselves uh, on, you know, for instance, MTV2 all the time. And <laughs> you're on all the time. Yeah, I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't seen Congratulations on that. Thank you very much, first of all. I mean, I haven't seen MTV2 for about a year, about a year. But uh, it's, um, the weirdest thing is I only really get to watch TV when I'm in Europe and when I'm in kind of hotel rooms and stuff. So I watch Europe and it's, it's still weird, yeah. Uh -huh. Seeing, seeing yourself on European TV or uh, saw my first uh, first time in America as well, which is very strange. Uh, but in the UK, I, I guess not so much. One last question: uh, What happens in the back room, really? Oh uh, well, you know that's why we hide things that we don't want people to see. So we're not allowed to tell you. But it's a bad haircuts and ex-girlfriends and stuff like that. <laughs>